Turkey is a fascinating place with a lot of history. You never quite know what you're going to find across this sprawling land. The most exciting thing was going into one of the circles where the central pillars are. From Noah's Ark, a land of hot air balloons, all the way down to a mountainside filled with tombs, today we look at 15 shocking things recently discovered in Turkey. <laughs> Number 15. Dirinkuyu Underground City It's an underground city, but even knowing what scientists found in Turkey has left people speechless. And that's because these stunning images show that not only is there an underground city, but it's 18 stories deep. And it wasn't like these scientists were looking for it. It was found by accident when a man had been renovating his home. This all happened in 1963, when a Turkish father accidentally knocked down a wall and hit the basement, which led to the revelation of a secret room. But it didn't stop there. That room led him to an underground tunnel that connected him to an ancient city. And the name of the city turned out to be Derinkuyu. This wasn't just a small city either. It looked to hold about 20,000 people, including things like livestock and food supplies. And it's amazing to think that these people could have lived a stunning 85 meters below the earth. This city is believed to have begun its operation around 780 to 1180 AD. Down below, you could see everyday things that you would see in today's world, like a kitchen, churches, places of burial, schools, and more. So why is this city underground? Some experts believe it's because the people moved down there to shield themselves from wars. And hey, with the way that the world is today, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Maybe we could take a page or two from this city. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Hair Museum. By now, you've probably been to a museum in your life. And given that, when you think of one, you might think of history, dinosaurs, and art displays. Museums are designed to show some of the most fascinating pieces of anything you can think of. But even with that sentiment, this next museum pushes the envelope of what you may envision when you step through the doors of one. That's because it's the Hair Museum. That's right, hair. And you can only find this place in Turkey. It's called Cappadocia, and it's got an atmosphere that's memorable and mysterious at the same time. Once you step foot in this museum, you can't miss that every surface minus the floor is covered with hair mementos. Next to those mementos are like accompanying notes. Not just notes, but there are also some photos sprinkled in there as well. This all comes from the mind of a Turkish potter. He owns the store that's above the museum. The idea came when he had lost a friend who was moving away from Avanos. It was so hard for him that he kept a lock of her hair. This spawned into him keeping the locks of hair that belonged to any woman who came into the shop with a sad story. You can imagine that's a lot of hair. And so he opened his museum in Turkey. How long did this museum last? It's been around for a stunning 38 years, and it's got all types of different color hair of different consistencies. But we think that this may be one spot that needs a vacuum. Number 13. Mirka Yoga Man Would you want to live until you were 130 years old? What about yoga? Would you want to do a whole lot of that while you were alive? That's what this next 95-year-old yogi says about life. He believes that he can live to 130. That's 13 decades. So what's this guy talking about exactly? His name is Kazim, and he's a 95-year-old yogi from Turkey that believes it's all up to the mind and some yoga. And we already mentioned he's 95. He says that he's lived that long because of yoga and sun solutions, and he only eats superfoods. He began doing this when he was 41 when he broke his back and had become paralyzed from the waist down. Everyone told him that he would never walk again, but he claims that he cured himself. He cracked his bones back into place, and then he began experimenting with yoga. But not just any type of yoga, he conducted 63 different experiments on himself, and then he was born again. We don't know about you, but we'll probably still drink soda after this video. But he is inspirational. Number 12. Mountain Tombs This next one takes the land of the dead to a whole new meaning. It's a sight to behold. One that strikes awe and wonder whenever you look at it. Because this Lycian city houses corpses that are carved into the hillside of southern Turkey. And when you look closely, you can see all the human touches that are added to it. This makes it all the more spooky. When we say human touches, we talk about the aspects of this carving that makes the appearances seem a little less scary. 
it humanizes it, and this structure dates back to the 4th century BCE. The rock-cut tombs that line the hills above Myra's famed theater. Right next to it, it's the Church of St. Nicholas. This is where you'll find the dead being divided into two main necropolises. They sit in a mixture of house and temple style tombs. More specifically, they're called the Ocean Necropolis and the River in the Necropolis. An amazing aspect of this is that they used to be filled with color. But much like the Statue of Liberty in New York, over time, the color has faded. But back in the day, they used to have shades of red, yellow, blue, and even purple. One man who visited the site, named Charles Fellows in 1840, had discovered a lion in the bowler during its facade. It contained 11 life-size stone figures. They were there to represent the owner who's resting in the afterlife. If this proves anything, it's that sometimes the spookiest things in life can also be the most historic. Number 11. Pluto's Gate Next on our list is a little-known place in Denizli Marquez, Turkey. Some say it's a deadly ancient portal to the underground. Nicknamed the Gate to Hell, this is the place where there used to be ancient rituals to the gods of the underworld. So instead of praying to the gods in the sky, people would pray to demons and hell. It's even said that this place claimed the lives of birds that got too close. We don't know if it was the people that killed those birds or the location itself. The place is located in southwestern Turkey and was discovered in 2013. It matches the description of the temple to the underworld that's disappeared in the 6th century. So it's not like no one knew about this place beforehand, it had previous records in history. How this location worked exactly was that tourists would go there and be able to buy small birds or other animals. Then they would test out the toxic air that blew out of the mysterious cavern. But only priests were allowed to stand on the steps which were coined the opening to hell. Sometimes they would lead sacrificial bulls inside. From the looks of it, this place isn't somewhere that's filled with rainbows and butterflies but it's got a lot of history nonetheless. Number 10. City of Ghost Churches We've heard about people getting lost on their way to church, but we've never heard about a bunch of lost churches. This is the case when it comes to the ancient ghost city of Ani, which is also dubbed the City of 1001 Churches. More specifically, it's a medieval Armenian city in Turkey that's located on the banks of the American River. Since the year 3000 BC, it's joined the ranks of other world cultural heritage sites as it's been recognized now by UNESCO in 2016. What makes this place so exceptional is how many buildings projects have been completed throughout its existence, and it's been a mix of both Muslim and Christian rulers. That's usually unheard of. This all happened during the period when Armenian rulers controlled the city. Now, there may not be a thousand and one churches, but there happen to be at least 40 places of worship. That's still a big number. So the next time you're in the market for a new church, we've got just the town for you. You probably wouldn't want to be choosy though, as there's a lot to choose from. Number 9. Abandoned Fairy Tale Mansions Now we move on to different types of abandoned cities. This one has fewer churches and places of worship in it and more abandoned fairy tale mansions. Now those are two words that people love to hear, fairy tale and mansions. Just imagine a whole city abandoned with them. Whether you want to call them mansions or castles, it's quite the sight to see. It used to be called the Burj Al Babas and was once a sprawling resort that promised high-end European-inspired amenities. Of course, you had to be super rich to afford them, and if you were, it was a dream come true. And it pretty much was the development of this strange city that became a nightmare. The visions for this development were high. There were reported 732 villas set to be on the property and it was supposed to cost around $200 million being developed in 2011. But unfortunately, with anything that big in scope that caught that much money, the project fell through. And now everything that's been developed just sits there, abandoned. It feels like a waste of money, but anyone that sneaks onto the property and finds their way into a giant mansion, they're probably sleeping comfortably. Number 8. Burning Mountain you won't have to call the Turkish Fire Department for this one because these flames have been burning strong for more than 2,500 years. Straight out of Yanartas, Turkey, when you come upon this slab of rock, you'll be greeted by none other than bright orange flames. It's a spooky sight. Now, if you were far away, the mountain looks like any other mountain. It's once you climb to the top that you realize that this mountain is very different from the other ones. You'll see flames flickering within the gaps, and they've been burning there for over 2,500 years while being fueled by methane seeping through the vents. Over the years, the use of these flames has changed. It's been rumored that in the past, 
sailors used the mountain as a landmark, kind of like a lighthouse in the sky. Today, people mostly use the flames to toast marshmallows. There's a lot of lore that comes with this mountain. It's been tied to the legend of Chimera, and that legend means that the flames were inspired by the fiery monster in Homer's Iliad. That beast is supposedly one with a lion's head, goat's body, and a snake for a tail. Rumor has it that the monster roams the mountainside. It sounds like something out of a fairy tale, but hypothetically, if it exists, we don't want to cross this path. Number 7. Sacred Thumbhole Forget about making a wish before you blow out a birthday candle. Oh, and you can say farewell to blowing away an eyelash on your index finger. Because this next place right out of Istanbul, Turkey, promises that if you stick your thumb in the hole and it gets wet, your wish will be granted. Seems kind of gross to us. It's called the Hagia Sophia Wishing Column, and it's been having tourists perform this unusual ritual for quite some time. They all simply go up to it, make a wish, stick their thumb into the hole, and then attempt to rotate the finger in a perfect circle. Now, if the finger gets wet, it means that the wish will be fulfilled, and even their illnesses will be reversed. But we probably wouldn't recommend going to this place instead of your local hospital. It's not a crazy sight to see either. If not for all the tourists surrounding it, you might walk right past the hole. But because of the popularity, you can bet on any day that there's going to be a hundred people around it just trying to get their wish granted. It's probably a scientific reason as to why the hole gets wet, but there's also lure that says they're legendary sources that are granting the wishes. What do you think? Would you put your finger into that hole? Number 6. Ancient Car Tracks it's always fun in the wintertime when you're walking through the snow and you see a pair of tracks that lead to someone who's been walking. It can feel like you're on a little adventure. But what happens when those tracks are a little bit more mysterious than usual? This is the case when it comes to the mysterious cart tracks of Phrygia Valley. When you go here, you'll find what are called cart tracks that crisscross across the landscape. They're embedded into the bedrock and evenly placed. They look like they were made of wheels of a cart that belonged to a vehicle. The odd thing is that they have a much deeper cut than usual carts. They're very similar to the tracks found on the island of Malta. Now the lore behind these tracks is that people believe these ruts were made by aliens. And over the centuries, natural disasters and occurrences have covered up the evidence to help support that theory. They even believe that there are some dinosaur footprints in there somewhere. When you turn to conventional thought, the earliest roads in the area appeared in ancient Anatolia around 1600 BC to 1178 BC, and then a little bit later the tracks were supposedly cut into the soft rock by the Phrygians. But the weird thing is, it's debated that the tracks were actually put there earlier, so the origin is still up in the air. Maybe one day they'll be able to track where the tracks came from. No pun intended. Number 5. Giant Sinkholes There's nothing worse than driving in a big city and coming across a massive sinkhole, and apparently in central Turkey, the term massive sinkhole takes on a whole new definition, because here you'll find sinkholes the size of craters, and this is all because of climate change and drought. A lot of these sinkholes in Turkey are being discovered by farmers who have vast amounts of land. Because the land is so dry, the holes open up a lot easier, and they're also easier to spot. Today in Konya Plain, there are reportedly around 2,000 of these sinkholes. From above, they look like they could fit the width of a skyscraper. It's starting to alarm a lot of experts because in a year, about 1,400 sinkholes sprung up. That's a huge jump, and usually these sinkholes aren't big enough to even be noticed, but there's no missing the size of these which appear almost bigger than a football stadium. Here's hoping that no one's going to drive their tractor into one of these big holes, because you can safely say they probably wouldn't be coming out anytime soon. Number 4. Hotel Above Ancient Ruins who doesn't love a novelty hotel? Well, maybe novelty isn't the best word for this one. In any case, it's a hotel built above an ancient ruin. This all started back in 2009, when the construction crew began work on the foundation of a new hotel in Turkey. But while they started doing this, they made a discovery. And that discovery was that where they were building had been a vast mosaic dating back to Roman times. Among with this discovery were 35,000 artifacts that date back to over 2,300 years ago and they all came from different civilizations, around 13 to be exact. When they spotted this history beneath their feet, they put the construction on hold, and then a six-month excavation took place. But it's also not surprising that the discovery was made because the city of Antalya is right above the side of the ancient city Antioch, and there's a whole lot of history there. 
Here's to hoping no one made reservations for that hotel, because they'll probably be waiting a long time. Number 3. Gobekli Tepe When you hear that word, temple, you probably think about thousands around the world. It's a place of worship, and you've probably passed one from time to time. But have you ever thought about the very first temple? That's the case for the Gobekli Tepe, which is said to be one of the world's oldest dating back to 6,000 years. That's even before Stonehenge. And if that's true, then it upends the conventional view of the rise of civilization itself. It sits about six miles from Urfa, which is an ancient city in southeastern Turkey. And what it consists of is carved out stones of huge sizes that are about 11,000 years old. They're crafted and arranged by prehistoric people who hadn't even developed things like metal tools or pottery yet. It turns a lot of things on their head in terms of how people lived back then. And many scientists believe that this is the world's oldest temple, but it's still up for debate. Prehistoric people would have had herds of gazelle and other wild animals that were surrounded by beautiful scenes like flowing rivers, fruit and nut trees, and rippling fields back in the day this site where the temple had set would have been a paradise. And today it's nothing more than a bunch of rocks, but no one can take away the history that this place has and now where the world's oldest temple sits. Do you believe this is the world's oldest? Number 2. Noah's Ark The Titanic is one of the world's most known ships. It even has a blockbuster movie made after it. But there's another ship that's far more popular than the Titanic, and that's Noah's Ark. From biblical tales, Noah's Ark had spanned thousands of years in terms of people reciting a story. And because it comes from the Bible, all these people will want to dispute the existence of it. But now, there are a few experts who say that the real Noah's Ark is buried in the Turkish mountains and scans might even prove the biblical ship's existence. It comes from a bunch of relic hunters who were scouring a Turkish remote mountain range. They say that they have snapped underground images of a mysterious ship-shaped object which had been discovered half a century ago in eastern Turkey. It may be buried under the Durapinar site. Of course, not everyone is convinced. Some geologists say that the mountainside is just a mountain formation. A film crew led by a longtime art hunter seeks to figure out what's true and what's not. And they're making claims that they'll reveal pictures that are obtained by using electric signals on the ground via cables in a documentary that's going to be about the Ark. According to legend, Noah had loaded two of every animal onto a 150 meter long Ark which saved them from apocalyptic flooding. And in the book of Genesis, the mountains of Ararat, which has now become eastern Turkey, are the region where the ark comes to rest after the apocalyptic flood. So historically, it all lines up. Unfortunately, despite numerous expeditions, it's been no physical proof ever turning up. But who knows, any day now, that could change. Number 1. Land of the Hot Air Balloons What's more relaxing than seeing a hot air balloon? Maybe being up in one is a little bit relaxing as well. But what if we told you there's a whole area devoted to hot air ballooning? That's right, when you come up Cappadocia, you'll be greeted by a scene like no other. When you look up in the sky, there will be dozens of hot air balloons flowing away. Majestic, it's a strong enough term to describe it. And for many, the area is on their dream travel list. Cappadocia is one rocky landscape filled with natural wonders. Located in Turkey, traveling here looks a lot like being in one fairy tale kingdom. It's been initially shaved by volcanic eruption followed by erosion. Throughout history, locals and religious refugees had worked the already breathtaking landscape into a network of underground chambers, tunnels, and cities thousands of years ago. But today, a lot of people travel here for hot air balloons. Because here, you'll be allowed to go on high air balloon tours, different types of flights, and so much more. Any of these flights can last between 45 minutes to 2 hours. That's a whole lot of hot air ballooning. And even when you opt for the deluxe, you can be up there for a maximum of 90 minutes. Those deluxe balloons, it's not just for two people. You can fit about 28 in them. You're scared of heights? This might not be for you. But if you love a wondrous sight while flying throughout the air, you might want to travel over to Cappadocia for a vacation. We promise it'll be like nothing you've ever experienced before. We also should let you know that the flights cost at least $170 a person. And that's on the small side. If you want the comfort flight, it's about $185 per person. Now, if you're rich, you can offer a private flight for $1,400. We'll probably stick to the minimum, though, because don't forget about the weather. One strong gust of wind and you'll be seeing a whole different type of majestic sight. 
It's safe to say that Turkey is just a land where people live and call their home. It's also a place with tremendous history and discoveries that leave you scratching your head. We may not have all the answers when it comes to some of these discoveries, but one thing's for certain, you never know what people are going to find in Turkey.